guys, welcome today. Another topic we will talk about visa waiver program. And I'd like to tell you what is a program, and what are the benefits of that program, and what do you need to be eligible to use that program. Visa waiver program is a program for uh, European countries, but mainly for European countries, but also for uh, countries uh, from outside Europe. Allowed you to travel to US for a uh, tourist purpose and for tourist purpose for uh, maximum 90 days without a visa, and it's a very, very, very uh, nice program. Many people say that is a visa free system, uh, it's nothing like that. A uh, visa waiver program is a program. Uh, made mainly for European countries, but, all, but in this program are also countries from outside Europe, like Canada, Australia, Japan, and a few other countries. And citizens of these countries are uh, allowed to enter the US for tourist purpose for maximum 90 days without visa. In normal situation, uh, if you will have a passport from a country out, uh, which is not the visa waiver program, you will need B2 visa, uh, but if you are a citizen of a country which is in the visa waiver program, you don't need visa. Uh, when you will uh, make reservation for your uh, ticket uh, for uh, for a fly, uh, you will need to fill another form, uh, for which is called uh, an ESTA, electronic 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 system for travel authorization, and as you can hear. Electronic system for travel authorization. You the, uh, that form you will uh, need to fill. You will need to pay uh, 50, about fifteen dollars, uh, fifteen bucks uh, as a fee for that uh, system, and you will get electronic authorization for your travel. You need to do this at least uh, three days, seventy-two hours before before travel. But if you will make a reservation for a ticket. Don't have 72 hours before between making a reservation and a departure date. You will need to fill that form at the time of making a reservation. So that's very very simple, as I think. Construction area is speed limit. Okay. So we will get an um, authorization uh, authorization number. That's that's all. Uh, that's all. It's very, very, very nice system. Because uh, in the old time, when you had to get a visa, it takes very, uh, some time. It takes some time, so you need to fill the form online, uh, apply for the visa, wait for the, uh, to leave back, uh, give your passport back. It takes time. And in the normal situation, you will get the authorization for uh, travel just like that, uh, without any problems. But in some case, um, for example, if you make some uh, something against immigration law or something like that, you will be rejected. And in that situation, you will need to have a classic B2 visa, and it will take uh, some time to get it. It's not uh, very long, but it, it takes your time. So, but if you are a normal person, you are citizen of one of the uh, uh, European uh, states. Uh, for for example, if you are citizen of uh, France or Germany, there's no problem. You get ESTA and when you make reservation, and you are traveling under visa waiver program. It's really a very nice thing. Uh, if you are a citizen of the sum, you need to check if your country which issue your passport included uh, in a visa waiver program. For example, Canada, Japan, Australia, they are. For example, there are also some European countries, some states of the European Union, which are excluded. They are not in the visa waiver program. For example, uh, Bulgaria, Romania, Croatia, and Poland. Uh, are not in the visa waiver program. If you will, if you have a passport from those countries, you have you don't you can't uh, go on visa waiver program. You need a classic B2 
Quito visa. And, but if you uh, if you have a German passport, it's not a problem. You go under visa waiver program. So that's very very simple. And when you after arrival in uh, in US, uh, you will uh, of course the plane will land. Uh, will land. Uh, after landing, after you will go out of the plane, you will be in a transit area on the airport and you will need to go to uh, CBP control for the CBP examination and when you will go to the CBP examination you will need to fill in a form it's a arrival departure form and you will need to fill a custom declaration the most important thing is about a uh, arrival and departure form because it's different for the people who uh, arrive under visa waiver program and it's different for all other other case. So if you are traveling on a standard tourist visa, you will need another a form for a visa uh, for other cases. Uh, if you are traveling for on other type of visa, you will need uh, that form for other cases. If you are traveling on visa waiver program, you will have a separate uh, type of uh, animal departure form. So that is very important. And the next thing is that the uh, visa waiver program is only for tourist purpose. Only if you are a tourist. Only if you are a tourist or some kind of business, but not all kind of business, some kind of business for maximum 90 days, 3 months. If you want uh, to go as a tourist, but for a four months, you will need a, a visa. Uh, if you will want to go and study in the US, you need a visa. Even if you are a citizen of a country which is in visa waiver program. If you want to work in the US, you need a special visa. If you want to go out and travel, au pair, you need a visa. If you are a fiancé uh, of a citizen or, per or permanent resident, you need a visa. Wait, 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 yeah. If you are a priest, a church minister or some, someone like that, you need a visa. Visa waiver program is only for tourist purpose and only for maximum 90 days. But it's a really, really great program because uh, a lot of us uh, travel uh, to the US for tourist purpose uh, just to see something, to go to a party, uh, as a tourist and most of European uh, travelers goes to the US as tourists so it's really really nice that we can go uh, without any visa just uh, having European uh, passport issued in the European Union so it's really really a great uh, thing what about uh, other forms other types uh, of visas, other other things, uh, CBP examination and things like that. Uh, I will tell you in other video. So, if you have any question about visa waiver program, how it works, just ask me. Write a comment. It's really really. I will I will answer it. It's really really nice. Thanks for watching and see you soon.